Hello everyone, welcome back to Conflict Skies and Steel. Tonight, the air above the Middle East trembles with a revelation that has left defense analysts and intelligence circles stunned. A mysterious drone known as Iran's Black Hunter has reportedly outsmarted Israel's pride, the American, built F-35. What was once thought to be an impossible feat bringing the F-35 stealth advantage to its knees has now become a chilling reality. This isn't just another arms test. It's the ignition of a new kind of aerial war, one where algorithms outthink pilots, and where the hunter no longer needs a cockpit. The world's most advanced jet was supposed to dominate the sky, but now it's being challenged by a machine born from shadows, secrecy, and silicon. The Black Hunter emerged under Iran's secretive project Kamen, a development long dismissed by Western analysts as propaganda. Yet, in recent weeks, satellite data, intercepted communications, and radar anomalies have begun to tell a different story. Israeli radar systems experienced unexplained blackouts across the Negev Desert, and you, S. A wax aircraft monitoring the region reported unidentifiable radar behavior that did not match any known aircraft signature. Moments later, Israeli F-35 patrols were diverted to intercept only to find themselves chasing ghosts. That was the night Iran's Black Hunter entered the record. From its exterior, the Black Hunter carries an appearance that defies what many thought Iran could engineer. Its fuselage is composed of radar absorbing composite material that reflects almost no electromagnetic energy back to tracking stations. The surfaces are angular, flattened, and refined with precision so delicate that radar beams scatter into the atmosphere instead of returning a signature. Its sharp delta wings slice through the air with surgical smoothness, and every edge is calculated to minimize drag and maximize stealth. The first close-up images, leaked from Israeli satellite photos, show a drone that doesn't resemble any known Iranian model. It looks more like a fusion of a Chinese dark sword and the American X-47B. But what lies beneath its skin is even more terrifying. The Black Hunter's interior system is not manually operated by human control from a base. It's an autonomous AI-driven network that runs on deep learning algorithms capable of reacting faster than human pilots. It doesn't wait for instructions, it predicts them. The moment an F-35 radar pulse sweeps through the air, the drone sensors register it, analyze its waveform, and instantly calculate how to reflect, absorb, or distort it. Inside its compact frame sits a digital warfare brain that runs on a self. Learning architecture, each engagement improves its awareness. While the interior space is minimal, packed with processors and electronic shielding, that small chamber is the birthplace of its intelligence, its invisibility, and its cunning. In performance, the Black Hunter has proven that speed and stealth can coexist without compromise. Reaching speeds approaching Mach 1 and altitudes near 45-0 feet, it hunts silently, combining stealth geometry with a propulsion system that reduces thermal exhaust visibility by almost 70%. Reports from defense insiders claim that it uses a hybrid turbofan, electric engine developed with reverse engineered parts from downed American and Israeli UAV. This gives it not just power, but unpredictability. It can hover at low altitude like a drone or soar like a jet when it wants to vanish from radar. During a recent interception attempt over the Gulf, an Israeli F-35 attempted to engage it from long range. Within seconds, the F-35's targeting sensors glitched. The drone's passive radar detectors identified the F-35's signal signature and countered it by feeding false echoes into the jet's radar display. On the pilot's screen, there were five different targets, but only one existed. The F-35 broke pursuit, confused, 
while the Black Hunter disappeared into the night sky. Its maneuverability has shocked observers. Iranian footage leaked from a coastal airbase shows the drone performing near-vertical climbs and barrel rolls moves once thought impossible for unmanned craft. It performs evasive maneuvers autonomously, using real-time airflow mapping to slip away from radar locks. It's as if the machine senses the sky like a living creature, aware of every signal that touches its surface. Some analysts suggest it's equipped with plasma stealth technology, a layer of ionized gas that can briefly absorb radar waves, something previously theorized, but never confirmed outside of Russia's experimental programs. The Black Hunter's electronic warfare capabilities redefine how aerial combat will unfold in the coming decade. It's designed not to fight in traditional dogfights, but to blind, deceive, and overwhelm. Its onboard systems can intercept communications, scramble GPS signals, and project phantom radar images to confuse air defenses. During one test flight, it reportedly generated a radar reflection identical to that of a commercial passenger jet forcing Israeli control centers to hesitate before engaging a hesitation that gave it time to escape. This deception technology doesn't just defend the drone. It manipulates the decision-making of its enemies. The result is a psychological victory before a single missile is fired. Safety, a concept rarely emphasized in drones, is where the Black Hunter distinguishes itself even further. Its triple, redundant control circuits ensure stability under electronic attack. If communication links are severed, it automatically returns to base using terrain mapping and magnetic field guidance, completely independent of GPS. It carries decoy pods that release infrared bursts to mislead heat seeking missiles, and when necessary, it can split its radar signal into multiple echoes, making it appear as several smaller drones. And in the worst case scenario, its self-destruct sequence activates within one second of terminal failure, vaporizing its core and encrypting its data. Iran built it not as a disposable craft, but as a reusable weapon designed to survive in contested skies. The Black Hunter's most shocking advantage, however, lies in its intelligence networking. It doesn't fly alone. It operates as part of a digital swarm, a fleet of drones linked by encrypted mesh communications that allow them to share data instantly. When one drone detects an F-35 or Patriot radar sweep, the information is transmitted to all others within range, allowing them to adjust course or engage without human interference. This swarm capability transforms the battlefield into a dynamic chessboard, where Iranian drones act as hunters and decoys simultaneously. One drone can lure an interceptor, another can jam it, and a third can execute the strike all coordinated in silence. The result is an adaptive, evolving war machine that no pilot can anticipate. Defense experts have started calling the Black Hunter the poor man's stealth jet, costing under dollar one, five million per unit compared to Israel's dollar eighty million F-35. It represents a new philosophy of war. Instead of spending billions to match the West's elite aircraft, Iran is flooding the sky with smart, cheap, and nearly invisible drones that can learn from every battle. A single F-35 can be overwhelmed by dozens of autonomous black hunters working together, jamming its systems and analyzing its countermeasures in real time. It's not about building a superior jet anymore. It's about rewriting the logic of combat, replacing human skill with artificial adaptation. This cost asymmetry is what terrifies Western strategists the most. Every time Israel loses an F-35, it loses tens of millions of dollars and a trained pilot. 
Every time Iran loses a drone, it loses a machine that can be replaced overnight. This shift changes how wars are fought from strength to strategy, from pride to practicality. The Black Hunter makes the idea of air superiority obsolete. It introduces algorithmic dominance, where whoever controls the smarter machine, not the faster jet wins. The materials used in its construction reflect this philosophy too. Iranian engineers have developed radar, absorbing paints using nanocomposite polymers derived from local resources. These paints distort electromagnetic reflections, confusing even high-frequency radar systems. Combined with angular surface design, the Black Hunter appears smaller than a bird on radar and sometimes doesn't appear at all. This innovation means Iran can mass use stealthy aircraft without access to Western carbon fiber technology. Its stealth warfare made local low cost efficient and deadly, but perhaps its most groundbreaking feature lies in its ability to think like the enemy. The AI system embedded within the Black Hunter has been trained using thousands of flight pattern datasets, many taken from open source simulations of NATO and Israeli operations. This data allows the drone to predict enemy flight paths, missile trajectories, and radar activation timing. It's not guessing, it's calculating probability in real time. It becomes the perfect counter to human intuition, anticipating the next move before the pilot even reacts. That's how it outsmarted the F-35, not through brute power, but through foresight. The incident that set the world on alert took place near the Red Sea. Two is, Raley F-35s were patrolling after radar anomalies were detected along their southern perimeter. They deployed advanced sensors, thermal optics, and communication intercepts. But the radar kept flickering. An object was moving in and out of detection range faster than their systems could lock on. When one F-35 launched a heat, seeking missile, the target vanished. Seconds later, a decoy signal appeared 30 kilometers away, and then another. The pilots realized too late the radar signatures were false echoes, projected by the drone's AI decoy module. By the time the real Black Hunter appeared, it was already behind them. It didn't fire, it didn't need to. It had made its point Israel's sky wasn't impenetrable anymore. That night, Israeli air defense went on full alert. Analysts later discovered that at least three black hunters had entered Israeli, monitored airspace, stayed for seven minutes, and left undetected. They didn't attack. They collected data that alone was an act of dominance proof that Iran could pierce the most guarded skies on Earth without a single missile. Now the strategic balance is shifting. The United States, once confident in the supremacy of its fifth, generation fighters now faces a dilemma. How do you defend against something you can't see, can't jam, and can't predict? The answer may not lie in building bigger weapons, but in creating smarter ones, a race that Iran seems to have joined with frightening speed. For Israel, the challenge is existential. Its entire defense doctrine relies on air superiority but the Black Hunter threatens to level that field. Every radar station, every fighter patrol, every Iron Dome battery must now prepare for invisible intrusions. It's no longer about shooting down threats. It's about surviving a digital ambush. As experts around the world analyze this new threat, one truth becomes clear. The Black Hunter isn't just a drone, it's a declaration. It marks the moment when low, Ost AI warfare surpasses traditional air power. It proves that dominance no longer depends on who spends the most, but on who adapts the fastest. And as the skies over Tel Aviv, Tehran, and the Red Sea continue to darken with whispers of more encounters, one question keeps military leaders awake at night. If Iran's Black Hunter can blind the F-35 today, what will it hunt tomorrow? The future of aerial combat has just changed, and the world will never look at the sky the same way again.